Confirmed, geomagnetic reversals can trigger glaciation. Bombshell press release from Kobe University confirms what Robert Felix has been saying for years, that geomagnetic reversals can trigger ice ages, perhaps almost instantaneously. I'm not sure that was the intent of the press release because it doesn't actually use the words ice age, trigger, or instantaneous, but that's Robert Felix's take. And he wants to see if you agree. Come check out his blog and we'll break it down. Increased galactic cosmic rays are to blame. Now, with a title that believes the importance winter monsoons became stronger during geomagnetic reversals, the press release explains that galactic cosmic rays, which you and I know as high energy particles from space, increased dramatically during the Matuyama Bruns magnetic reversal 780,000 years ago. Now, such an increase, which we now call the Svensmark effect, could induce more low cloud formation and in influence the Earth's climate via the umbrella effect, which is kind of like uh, the greenhouse effect, only causes cooling. Now, let's check out the paper, Intensified East Asian Winter Monsoon During the Last Geomagnetic Reversal Transition. We covered this paper a few days after it came out and what it determines in the abstract here, the strength of Earth's magnetic dipole field controls galactic cosmic rays. And let's just get to the data set and the conclusions. What they conclude is there's an absolute correlation in effect and they're using uh, advanced set, uh, sedimentology and other techniques. And they're working at the magnetic reversal right here, the last polarity reversal reversal, the Brunus Mariama. We've had many, many quick excursions and flips and regular periodicities every 100,000 years. And more recently, we have data that's suggesting every 12.5, 12,500 years, there's a magnetic excursion and we're living one now. But let's look at the data back at the Brunus Mariama. And Robert Felix is right uh, about instantaneous. So let me just fill you in on the data. Here's the Brunus Mariama polarity reversal here, right on this line. That's when the polarity reversal occurs. There's a period of polarity reversal events that extends for uh, thousands of years here called the MBPF. The MB polarity flip interval. So the, it actually took thousands of years to flip. And then there is a definite climatic effect that lasts thousands of years prior. So what happens right here on this arrow is sea levels dramatically drop in a major way, as well as temperatures rapidly cooling. And temperatures stay frozen and stay cold for the entire polarity reversal period until the polar flip, until the polarity flips, and then it rises rapidly, catastrophically. So multiple catastrophes within thousands of years in a very tight little area here. We have a sea level drop event, rapid glaciation, ice age, cooling for the entire 4,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6,000 year period. And then a rapid rise in temperature. Catastrophe, yes. Unexplained, I doubt it. Magnetic and reversals and glaciation uh, have been well known and we have correlations, but for years they've said there's no correlation. Correlation is not causation between geomagnetic reversals and glaciation. But we now have a paper and we also have uh, many other documented instances suggesting that geomagnetic reversals cause evolution. Because galactic cosmic rays are one of the only things we know that can mutate DNA. Hope you got something out of the video. Geomagnetic reversals can trigger glaciation. Here's the data. Prior to the magnetic reversal, which you're living now, there's a rapid cooling. Sea levels drop. And it stays cold for the entire period until the polarity reversal occurs and then it warms again. Those are the facts. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. The time is now to start preparing. Preparewiththeranch.com. Preparewiththeranch.com.